It's 21 minutes after 7. You're still watching the AM show. Your comments are still very much welcome on WhatsApp 0560 and on Joy News on TV on Facebook. Uh, let's talk political and discipline now with the with Reverend Dr. Kwame Naupun in Frimpong, who's the General Secretary of the Christian Council of Ghana. Good morning, Rev. Thank you so much for your time. Good morning, Rama. I hope you're well. Just by God's grace, a new day has come, and there's still hope for us as a people. Mm. Did you monitor the limited registration exercise? Yes, and, and we also play some active role by going around our member churches, sending messages, asking people uh, uh, to participate. So we did not only monitor, but we also played uh, a role. And now that the exercise has come to a close, we have also started uh, uh, just evaluating the whole process and how we observe things and some of the thoughts that have come mm. to us. I must say you were rather quiet during the exercise because we didn't hear much of the council. We, we, we did in terms of, uh, sorry if we did not use your, your, your platform, but asking uh, member Church churches members uh, to go and then the, the information, the fact that not everybody is supposed to, to mm. register, only those who have just hit 18 and those for good, some good reason mm. over the years have not been able to register. So in our churches, we're just... Okay. Uh, Would you say that your members responded to that call? Uh, at least hearing from the, the Electoral Commission and, and the pluses they have given uh, uh, to the whole exercise mm -hmm. and also the numbers that we've been told have registered, uh, we cannot claim any glory do, but if the whole country has been successful in the exercise, uh, we may consider that the little contribution we made uh, has also played a role. We may not know now, but at least we are aware we were also telling our members to take that exercise as serious as they can. I think until we heard from the Electoral Commission, there were suggestions that the exercise uh, should have continued or at least the, the registration exercise should be opened again because there were a good number of people who could not register. They were in the queue and it was six and the exercise had to end on the 10th day. I don't know if that conversation is still valid uh, after the Electoral Commission revealed that over a million people apparently took part in the exercise. Yeah, the, 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 the issue that my you've raised is more serious, especially on our campuses, because the registration, the limited registration, fell uh, within examination period. Mm -hmm. the, the secondary school people were writing examination, and then the universities, the public universities especially, uh, at least I'm aware of KNUST, University of Ghana, uh, the period was examination uh, a period for, for them. However, the students still express interest. You know, uh, they, they, they were, they were somewhere in the queue. Uh, and so despite the, the, the examination pressure, they, 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 they declared their interest in the whole exercise. Now we need to encourage them. You, you heard some of them saying, I've been here two days, you know, and therefore such people were in the queue. And it's like the way they had structured their equipment, mm -hmm. six o'clock, uh, it, it went off. And then you find these Ghanaian young people who are still expressing interest that these are civil role, we want to be uh, active participants in, in, in such exercise. Mm. And it will be very helpful if somebody will allow such genuine Ghanaian young people who uh, uh, have not had this opportunity to register. How, we are not very sure now, but we must still give them that opportunity. Mm. We're talking political indiscipline. Uh, during the exercise, we had a lot of things. Either people bussing people to go and register, encouraging underage uh, children to go and take part in the exercise, uh, or, or even within the parties themselves. Uh, so, uh, few things happening. Uh, I think the most popular one was in Kumasi, uh, where we had, within the new patriotic parties, things happening to the extent that the chairman of the Ashanti region uh, had to be arrested and taken to court, and then the case subsequently dropped. Uh, where have you been? Yeah. 
I mean, this is one serious issue that has come to us after the exercise. The fact that as a nation, we need to address the issue of political discipline. Now, um, this was, in fact, it should have been a simple exercise. If you are 18 now, go and register. If you are above 18 and you have not had that opportunity, now you have it. Go with S, Y, Z. Uh, uh, if you have passport, go with it. If you have uh, a, a driver's licenses, go with it. If you don't have, get people from the community uh, to go and testify. Now, now the accusation and counter accusation, and I must say, coming from the two leading, the two main political parties, I didn't hear much uh, about CPP, NDP, PNC. The accusations, uh, you know, MPP accusing NDC, NDC accusing MPP. So the two uh, uh, leading political party that they are registering minors, uh, they are bringing foreigners in, we won't allow them and all that. Then you <coughs> also find senior members of these two political parties admitting publicly that we are registering minor, even though they also add that it's not good, but we are doing it. And then uh, the, 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 the harsh, the strong words, you know, being used to address. And still, you heard that from uh, uh, the two main political parties insulting, attacking, and then some extreme uh, slappings, and you are hearing uh, cutlasses and, and, and guns and, and stuff like that. Now, when you, you find yourself in this, now you say, where is political discipline in this uh, electoral process? Because now when we call somebody honorable or the, your excellency and all that, what it suggests to me that these are the people who carry the spirit and values of this country. And so they deserve our respect. So when we come to this uh, point, you expect uh, the, the excellencies and the honorables to show the way. Because we're dealing with young people who have hit 18 years. Now, this is the time we must nurture national values, national spirit in these young people. Then you get uh, those who are supposed to know better. Yes, they must encourage the young people. They must be role models. Come, politics is good for us. Be part of it. Look at me. But in the process, I think we are teaching Ghanaian young people bad stories, giving them bad examples, especially registering minors. Now, these are innocent young people. So if you dash them 10 CDs, you give them mobile phone. For them, uh, they don't consider the implications, the future that you are creating for them. Mama, assuming you have this young uh, a boy who is, say, 14 years, and then because somebody is powerful, you walk him to the, the, the registration center, and you insist he's 18. And this innocent boy, yeah, I'm 18. You know, now you've increased your age by 14, uh, by four okay. years. Now, that voter, uh, 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 the card you have now can be used for so many things. You go to a place, they make photocopy. You go to a place, they key in the information you have given. You are buying university uh, uh, admission form. They, they, you key in the information. In some institution, the entrance information you give, they won't allow you to change. So you came to university, even now properly at the age of 18, but per your uh, uh, the identification card you use, you have is 18 plus four, mm -hmm. you know, and that is what you will be known. And as you move on, you may not know that you have given some information when you were 14 years into the system. And then a day will come when you are saying, no, I am not uh, 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 60 years, I'm 56. Somebody will tell you, you are. And that innocent child may not be aware. Then I'll ask myself, where is that person who misled mm. this young person only because he or she wanted to win uh, election 2016? But look at the damage. And please, let me use your platform. Parents whose children are being used for this, consider the danger ahead of the child who is not 18, but manipulating his or her age, increasing either one year, two years, four years, whatever, because a time will come, the seed they are sowing today will, 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 will bear fruit. Recently, somebody went to an embassy for visa, 
And this social platform, young people, uh, you know, changing, uh, it, the name is still quite good, KW, uh, whatever. Then they start writing Q U A J just for fun. And they, they have done their own research about this applicant, and they deny him visa. He challenged, and they say that you, you bear two names. How can one person have two names? These are things young people do for fun. Now, it's not fun. I have a, a, a serious honorable who is misleading this child, where we one day a child will find himself, herself, mm -hmm. and you may not be there to defend that child, but look at the harm the dangerous future we have built for, for this uh, young person. There are more. Mama, you know, w you look at our population, 26 whatever million. Now, when we, we, you are building data, mm. you want to have data that is realistic. Now, you, you bust per the statement we have heard from them, and it's still NDC, MPP. Bringing people from outside this country. So you end up having, say, 15 million uh, 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 population size of uh, voters in this country. Then somebody will one day say, but look at Kenya. Kenya has S population, but even their voter population does not reach here. Then Ghana with 26, how come we have more than that? And you ask yourself, but why are we doing this to ourselves? Mm. Because you need data. You, you, you need facts to plan for planning and all that. And, and if we are all contributing to uh, misinforming the facts, now it's election, we'll finish. But we will use that to preempt other things. Because they serve as your variables when you, you are. And now the variables you are using are all for us. Who is creating this uh, 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 problem for us? So you know that the planning becomes difficult. All because somebody is not prepared to be disciplined, meaning that I know the right thing. I will do the right thing with or without supervision. Mm -hmm. Now, it's even when we are supervising, we are still uh, 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 messing around. Mm -hmm. And we will something has changed. But here we are today. The registration exercise has ended. Is it perhaps too late for somebody who didn't do the right thing to change their minds? Fine. It, it's being said, it's difficult to say that that is only a fool who doesn't change his or her mind. So, fine. We, 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 we've made mistakes. We must learn from the mistake. And that's what I think we are doing this morning. Mm. Now, we, we finish the process, and we are, we are trying to evaluate what are the lessons there for us. In fact, for us as a church, after this limited registration, we are even asking ourselves, do we have Christians in the various political parties? Why are you asking that question? These are you know, some of the outcomes. Because sometimes you expect, even if it's a long uh, voice, we still want to hear some Christian politicians who will come out to say, I belong to this party, but I'm not happy we are doing this. We must stop. If you have done it in the boardroom and nobody is listening to you, go public. Because if you are a Christian, you, you go into chieftaincy, you go into public service, you go into media, you go into politics to, 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 to give an example, to be different, to bring your faith into public life. Mm. And so so are, are you saying that you're not hearing the voices of the Christian the moment, politicians? Some of this political discipline issue, uh, if, if somebody is talking, he must raise his or her voice. We are not hearing them. But we need Christian examples, Christian witness in our politics. Christian politicians who publicly will want to say, we want to be different. We can't uh, uh, be part of this. Fine, if by that end, and you see Christianity, the symbol of our faith, is a cross. And so if I want to stand for the truth, do the right thing, even if I will lose for, for that, if I'll, I'll suffer for that, we need to hear Christians who want to go that way. But if, if there's, somebody must dare to be different. If we are all the same, I mean, they are doing it, everybody is doing it, I must also do it. But you are not everybody, you are not anybody, you are a Christian. And the same, I'll say the same for Muslims also. Where is your, uh, your Islamic faith in public life, in politics? You see, so uh, these are some of the things after the limited registration. We are learning that we need to intensify our public education. Mm. And one of the issues we must address is political discipline. You know, some people have said that what we saw is just the tip of the iceberg. It tells you how the election proper would be like. Yes, and, and that is why I'm happy uh, Joy TV is giving us a platform to also start this public discourse 
and this is something we want to continue in our churches. W w would they hear? Would they listen? Because, I mean, what hasn't happened? A lot of people talk. And that is why, at least, we, we I speak for the Christian Council of Ghana, and that is why, at least, if nobody will, will hear, at least we are, we are expecting the Christians who are in there, including our president, who is also a Christian, and many more, the vice president, who is a Christian, uh, uh, the, the, the general secretary, NDC, who, uh, Mr. Siedrin Katia, who is a Christian, a Presbyterian, all the others, Kwaku Ayido, who belongs to uh, the EP church, now they must hear. And at least now the, some of the traditional leaders have started even calling their people uh, in their constituency, NDC, MPP, uh, parliamentary candidates, that you, you, you are all from this sexual area, you are from this area. I don't want to see this. We don't want to hear. And now we are pleading now, let the heads of churches get involved, at least uh, those who are in our churches. And let the imams also come on you board. You know, there's always the fear that you will be branded either anti this or anti that. That's the fear of a lot of people. Oh, That's why they don't I, come I out. Wish, I wish we have uh, alternatives. I wish we have options. Where we have rich. Uh, it, it, it's, it's not fair, though. Because civil society and other public opinion leaders must be part of the process. There's something politicians will do, and they have to do it. There are certain things traditional leaders must do. They have to. There are certain aspects of our national life. There are religious leaders, same as media and all. And together, you see, national development, building a nation, is, is, is a collective responsibility. Politicians alone cannot build this country. They need all of us. And we need to learn. Democracy is beyond just going to the, the, the polling station to, to uh, uh, vote. Uh, democracy must run through and through every bit. So yes, you are my uh, member of parliament. Yes, you are my president. But you must hear other voices. We, we, we must, Ghanaians count. So somebody must count us. Mm. And what, what are you hoping that overall when we have people speaking up, you know, like you're calling on Christian politicians and uh, Muslim politicians to show, let their faith show in what they do publicly. What are you hoping that would achieve for us going into the November elections? The issue about political discipline, that I'm a mature person, I am a role model, somebody is watching me, I'm a Christian, I'm a Muslim, I know the right thing, I carry the spirit of this country, Ghanaian values in me, with or without supervision, I want to do things right. So that your young people also will find safety in your presence. Because if I find an honorable who in his or her presence, Ghanaian young people feel insecure. Insecure, like, because honorable is here, oh, he can put us into a bus and we'll go and vote and all that. Without knowing the implication, the insecurity environment, this honorable has pushed this young person to. So in their presence, Ghanaian young people must feel secure today and tomorrow. Mm. This is what we expect. Elections should not lead us to uh, public attack, insult, slappings, maiming, and all that. But at least we have witnessed that. That must stop. You know, Rev, some people would argue that when you go to other countries, I mean, it's not about religion. It's not about your Christian faith or your Muslim faith helping you. People are simply disciplined. They will do the right thing. I mean, why can't we follow suit? Why must it be religion leading us? No, there must be starting point, entry point. Uh, fine, we, we, we may not know what has shaped uh, somebody's uh, uh, morality to a mm. point that whether Islam uh, ethics or Christian ethics, we will do the right thing. Maybe they have built in some shock absorbers. It could be the security arrangement they have made. You know, in some countries, some of the advanced countries, you carry a card with you. They key in and everything, even your medication, everything about you. When you pay your tax and all that, where you've been to school, uh, your, your medical report, everything within second will be on the screen. And so in some places, knowing that I can't hide, the system is such that you can't hide. Maybe some of those things, so they, they may not use religion uh, to enforce uh, uh, public safety, public ethics, and all that. If we don't have that, and what we have in essence, at least now they tell us, in 
uh, 70 percent Ghanaians are Christians. And we can conclude that about 99 percent Ghanaians are religious. If they, if they are not in church, they are in the mocks or they are somewhere else. So if that is what we have in abundance, this is the time to use religion to facilitate growth, development, peace. One day, if we have other things that we can use, we'll go there. But now, what we have in abundance, religion is so visible, so public. So can we also not conclude then that the pastors in the churches have failed? Uh, you know, the heads in the mosque have failed then because we have... Uh, so many of us who are religious, yet we don't do the right things. For, for us to do this conversation this morning on your platform means that the church in this country is so active and relevant. The fact that this country, we've been able to hold ourselves together, something that elsewhere they've not been able to do. Uh, we, we, if we're probing, I think the religious leaders plus others have made significant contributions. But we, we are maturing. Our democracy is maturing. We solve problems as they emerge. And so I will not go for the word you are using, but I would rather say that we have work to do. Mm -hmm. And now we are calling everybody on board. Please, church leaders, same as Muslim leaders, let us do all the prayers. Let's keep praying for the peace of this country, but let us be part of the public education. We need that, and we must start now. We don't need to wait till we are into October or when we are close to election. We must get on board, and our voices must be heard, and we must talk to the people in our mocks and in our churches that we don't support uh, the way you are going. Maintain your Christian values and be disciplined in politics. Mm. All right, uh, we'll have to end our conversation here, but some messages have come following our conversation on the, uh, political indiscipline. This one says, I think it's unfair for politicians to always see as first point of accusations when it comes to issues of corruption and leave those society that always make it uh, business for their survival. It's a canker. I think your talk is on corruption. al Haji will P in Ifyakuma. Uh, very well said. Thanks a lot. This one says the Peace Council is very gentle with politicians. They sit down and EC does this mistake and they are now talking. Uh, this is not a conversation with the Peace Council, by the way. Uh, this one, I don't see where you're going with it, so I'm going to skip it. Vincent from Aflau says uh, they should tell us that they will not... Okay, no, this is also on another issue. I think people are taking advantage of the fact that you're here and bringing things that we haven't mentioned into our conversation, so I won't go there. Uh, but I'd like to say thank you for your time this morning, really, uh, unless there's any other thing that you want to say. Uh, we, we want to say thank you for... Uh, for TV, TV, uh, Joy television? News, uh, uh, the role you are all playing. But uh, uh, over the years, when we are close to election, it's like life and death. Now, mm. that feeling must leave us. I, I, it must stop somewhere. We, we must, we need, if you like, what they call um, a paradigm shift. Now, when we are close to election, yes, I mean, election, like all contests, must bring anxiety, concern. But we must move from the feeling that during election, Ghana will have civil war, we are going to fight, we are going to attack violence, to the fear that how do we do things right? How do we discern uh, the real issues and the real people that we need? So if there's any concern at all, it, it should move from fear of violence. And we plead with all our leaders, political leaders, and now literally we are pleading with the Christians in the various political parties. In fact, the two leading political parties. Please, let us do things differently. We are all waiting uh, uh, for you to raise up voices, voices that will convince all of us that we have one or two people in the various political parties who will want us to raise our, our political campaign education process to another level of sanity, uh, where we are looking for issues, issue-based, discerning in, in electoral process, right people to do right thing. Please don't give us bad example. Ghanaians are watching and young people are looking for role models. I pray that you are a good politician, you become a good role model for young people. Reverend Dr. Kwame Nupun in Frimpon, thank you so much for your time. Uh, that's the General Secretary of the Christian Council. Keep your comments coming through on 0560 800,000. Uh, up next, we're talking football. The English Premier League wrapped up yesterday. Other leagues have as well. Uh, so uh, what's new? Where are we going next? Stay with us.